All right, y'all. I'm finna look through some shit, and I'm finna find some shit where I can put together a piece to let y'all see what I'm looking at. Hulk Hogan's WWE title run. And oh, uh, when he came back and won the undisputed title, when he came back to WWE in 02, in 2002, man, that shit was a good ass title run that people don't give credit to. That whole undisputed title, Brock Lesnar, Triple H, Undertaker, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, man, they was putting on some great ass matches. That whole undisputed title era shit. It's under. It's not undervalued. People need to go back and go look at that shit. I was just watching Hulk Hogan versus Chris Jericho, what the other night. And the match was lit as fuck. Hogan versus Taker, lit as fuck. Hogan versus Ric Flair. I ain't get a chance to get into it, but I'm sure that was a dream match for a lot of old school wrestling fans. And and he was in great working shape. Then nobody had to fucking help get him over or get carried through the match. Hulk Hogan was fucking, hey, the Captain America shit. I think when he got banned by Vince McMahon, he had to come back. People need to go back and go look at that run he had. Let me see. Ten things we need to know about his run before Hogan, Hogan's run. The last WWF champion before they changed the name WWE. Who was the last WWF champion? Hulk Hogan was. Damn. Hulk Hogan was the last WWF champion before he became WWE. Interesting. Number nine, X-Pac attacking Hulk Hogan a joint NWO. Oh, yeah, he sure did. And that's how Hogan got out of that shit and became a face, right? Number eight, the last time Hulk Hogan worked WWE house show tours. He was doing house shows back then? Damn. First match back was Rikishi. Damn, I wonder how that went. The first televised match for Hogan came 10 days later, teaming with Scott Hall and Kevin Ash to defeat Stone Cold and The Rock. Sound like y'all jumped them, and I don't remember that shit. When the fuck y'all two teamed together and beat them? The Undertaker dragging Hulk Hogan on his motorcycle. Yes, Undertaker used to be savage, bruh. I remember that shit, bruh. Them undisputed title, bruh. People need to go back and check that shit, bruh. Hogan had some good work. Brock Lesnar destroying him. Yes, Brock destroyed Hulk Hogan. Well, he brought that little Hulkamania shirt where Brock Lesnar was like, uh, Hulk Arani is dead or some shit like that. And he had Hulk Hogan blood shit. He was rubbing it all on his chest. Bruh, Hulk Hogan run back in the 2000s was, was fucking lit, bruh. It didn't last as long as it could have, but it was go back and watch some of it, bro. That shit was good. It was better than you fucking think. Even how he lost to The Rock was the same way how The Rock loses to Hogan. He was majority of the time The Rock is a heel when he go against Stone Cold. Hulk Hogan was Hollywood Hogan transitioning out of the NWO when he did the honors to The Rock when he uh, put The Rock over. So. It was all the same, and that gave him a, a, a real organic transition to being a baby face, too, by him coming out of NWO, losing to The Rock, him getting, they, they respected each other after the match on some baby face shit, and then that lets his character go forward without it just being forced or whatever. That shit was pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, damn, he won by submission with the bear hug. Brock Lesnar, damn, he squeezed him out. There was even a wild visual of Brock smearing Hulk Hogan's blood off his chest like a wild yep he did Hogan took the vicious beating to put Lesnar over until his 2003 return for WrestleMania 19 he defeated Jared Chris Jericho in another qualification match yeah he defeated him in another match Yep, I remember that. He had a real quick run in with the un Americans. I remember that. Test uh Y'all must have added some people. 
I thought it was just Lance Storm, Christian, and Tess. I see William Regal. I don't remember William Regal being in it, which is weird. I don't know for some reason. Because I remember, I don't know. I remember Tess and Kane when he debuted it when he was about to burn the flag. I remember that. Kurt Angle was the first wrestler to tap out Hulk Hogan. I forgot he even had a match against Kurt Angle. Look at his run, bro. Yep, and number one, defended the title against Ric Flair. I told y'all. That's what I said. A lot of old school wrestling fans mad that they never got that type of match. I don't even know if they got that shit really like that in WCW because, I don't know, it just really wasn't the same, bro. Plus, it don't matter no way. You want it in the WWE ring, bro. The home of the home, nigga. The, 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 the main event of the main event. Now, for real, bro, we're going to take a, another look back at this fucking 2002 run by Hulk Hogan. For real, bro, that shit was fucking good, bro. Y'all should have broke that shit down in segments, though. <clears throat> like how they met The Rock, the NWO backstage, The Rock with Razor Ramon, Chico. <laughs> All that shit was lit, bro. <laughs> And then when they kicked him out the group, Xbox spray painted the NWO shit on the back of Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan took one on the chin, bro. He really did, bro. From the beatings with the taker, Lesnar, bro. Putting the rock over. I felt like what he did in 2002, putting niggas over, was more so than the shit the fucking I ever seen Stone Cold do. Stone Cold didn't really put no fucking body over, bro. The time I thought Kurt Angle was believable was when he beat the rock. The time I thought Brock Lesnar was believable, not even just because he was going on a run as young and smashing on Al Snows and Spike Dudley can only get you so far still. It's when The Rock put him over, bro. The Undertaker, I mean, Stone Cold don't be trying to do the job for nobody. Fuck him, bro. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. Cry in the comments. <laughs> Cry. Nobody asked you to be here. Cry, motherfucker. I still, to this day, watch The Rock versus Hulk Hogan. For real, bro, that match was lit. I don't give a fuck who won it. The match was fucking lit. The build up, the 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 names, the star value. That shit was fucking phenomenal, man. Shit, the fuck, fucking wrong with y'all. Damn, y'all. How come y'all don't even bring up when Vince fired him? Y'all remember when he was like Mister America or Captain America? I see a picture with him and Edge. So what, him and Edge did a little tag work together or something? Man, Hulk Hogan's 2002 run is very underrated. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Hold on. He put in work, bro. Then nobody had to help him take bumps, none of that. He was out there giving it and going, bro. It was better than some of his other matches where they was more slower. He wasn't taking hits and all that. He was going against so many different styles, bro. Triple H's, Chris Jericho's, Kurt Angle's, bro. Go back and watch that shit. Go back and watch that shit, bro. For real. And a lot of y'all, if I told y'all right now, who was the biggest star? Y'all be like Stone Cold or Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he might have saved WWF with the war against WCW, but there would have been no war to fight without Hulk Hogan. Remember that, motherfucker. I wouldn't even been a wrestling fan without Hulk Hogan. Fuck what I My first time I think I ever saw wrestling was probably, I think, Undertaker. In that casket against Yoko Zuma on a tape back when I was a kid. But if I'm really, really 100% sure, I think I saw wrestling even before then. I used to watch that shit when Hulk Hogan, yes, bro, Hulkamania, bro, used to be that shit, bro. Everybody in my mom used to watch that shit. But I'm out. I think I'm going to shoot one more video in for y'all. I think I got one more in. One more in. Just go back and rewatch that shit, bro. That shit was lit. Vince trying to let him know, talking about some. I made you. Man, that shit was pretty good, bro. Why was Hulk Hogan so over when he returned? It wasn't even just the nostalgia factor. That too, that too. And plus, everybody got to see all them WCW guys kind of from the invasion kind of crash and burn. So it did kind of look pretty good. Man, go back and watch that Triple H versus, um, yes, bro. The triple, go back and watch that heavyweight title match with Triple H versus Hogan. Bro, all that shit was lit, bro. Look at this article. Hulk Hogan recalls helping The Rock in 2002. Hulk Hogan recalls helping The Rock in 2002, passing the torch and giving him the rub. 
everything I can to help him be the greatest wrestler ever. Notice he ain't never said no words like that about Stone Cold, though. Hulk Hogan said that shit about The Rock, though. And, nigga, at 2002, The Rock was already a big-ass name. You, I mean, you really didn't kind of give the rip or pass the torch. That shit really was more of a rub for you because you went on to have a big ass run right after that shit. That was really a in uh, in, uh, in reverse rub for your ass technically because The Rock went to Hollywood. He started doing the Scorpion King and the Mummy Returns. You stuck around past two thousand two, so in technical in technicality, he gave you the rub. But I get what you're saying because you the vet, you the old head. I get what you're saying, but still, yeah. Man, y'all need to, like I was saying, bro, for real, bro. I woke up out my sleep one day thinking about that shit. Go back and watch them Hulk Hogan matches when he was with the NWO and when he broke out of the NWO and when he was the Undisputed Champion. And let me make sure I'm telling you this right. I don't want to make sure I'm telling you nothing wrong. Let me get the name right. Yeah, it's Captain America. I forgot. Wasn't it Captain America or some shit? Mr. America, yes. That shit, I love that shit. It's, it's weird, cringe, I don't get it. At WrestleMania, Hulk Hogan defeated Mr. McMahon after a longer bloody feud. It's just that he could be his biggest creation, that he could end Hulkamania forever. Hulk Hogan once had a brief stint as a character named Mr. America. Yep, I like that character. I don't know, bro. I'm different, bro. It's so weird how I would like... A character like Hulk Hogan's Mr. America. I don't know because it's lit, bro. The mask, you know, that's Hogan, the blonde uh, beard. But um, it's crazy how I would like that character. But I never liked any of them shits that they tried to do on heart. Even before he died. What was that? The blue meanie, blue some shit up, whatever. I hated them shits. It all, I don't know. I've always looked at Owen Hart as a serious based, technical Canadian based, throwback, old school, Stu Hart dungeon esque wrestler i never looked at him as some jokey hokey dory unless he was being like a heel like the reason like he making fun of Bret Hart, kicking his leg out of his leg or talking about stone cold about with the shirt how he broke his neck like that's the only version of a heart i know of him i don't know him as like a loser type i don't know him like that sorry not sorry i'm out